Hey everybody, blessings to you. Shalom, shalom. I am here from sunny San Diego with all of my constituents here in the background. Everyone say hello. Hello. Listen, there's a united fire here. God is so good. Uh, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. People of God, listen, we're just two days away from entering into 2021. God is so good, okay? And uh, so I'm really expecting, so excited for the new year. Amen. So I want you to give some hearts and likes. Do... Uh, uh, comment below. Let us know where you are watching from. Praise God. And uh, in a minute, I will give some shout outs. And we're going to go right into it. Let me get some shout outs right now. Amanda from Kirkland. Blessings to home of Costco. Hello there, Ivana. Blessings to you. DD Blessings. Stephanie Grace. Felipe Guzzo. Oh, Felipe, I know you. Blessings to you. Yes. Yukaipa. God bless you. Georgiana. Shalom to you. Rabata. Robo. Yes, Charlene, hello, Naomi, West Covina, all right, Maggie, Yvonne, amen, praise the Lord. Give us some hearts and likes, hello there, Juan, I hope uh, your family, uh, I think your father from COVID is doing well. Alicia Jackson, blessings to you, Melvin Barrera, oh, Pastor Melvin, hello, Michelle, child of the most high, shalom, shalom. Well, it's good to see so many good familiar faces, I want you to give us some hearts, likes, and do share. Listen, 2021 is going to be an incredible year. Someone say incredible, okay? It's going to be an incredible year. You know, uh, next week, actually, just one week from today, I'm going to be at Sid Roth Studio uh, at the ISN. Uh, it's Supernatural Network. I'm going to be in Charlotte uh, uh, at Sid Roth Studio just uh, one week from today, next week. It's going to be incredible. And then one week right after that, I'm going back to Charlotte because I'm going to be ministering for two days in Charlotte. Uh, and then uh, also, uh, you know, in January, probably at the end, I'll probably be in Northern California. And in February, we're, we're going to be with Kat Kerr and Prophetess Sherelle Barrera. Melvin, I just saw you there. We're going to be with you in February 4 to 6. Uh, I'll be back in Hawaii. I mean, it's just going to be incredible. So I'm excited for 2021. Amen. But listen, this word that I have for you for the month of January, are you guys excited? We're about to cross over. Some say cross over. We're about to cross over into a whole new realm, a whole new dimension. So I'm excited for you to log on with us and to be a part of what God's doing through our ministry, through this prophetic apostolic grace. Listen, who here knows that in these days, we need to be connected to the true voice of the prophets and to the true word of the Lord. There's so much deception, so much naysaying, so much fake news, okay? But we need to be in the glory and we need to be rooted in the place where the presence of God dwells, all right? So I'm telling you, uh, 2021 is going to be incredible. And now expect miracles even in the next two days. Even as we're about to cross over and finish 2020, expect miracles. Someone say miracles. Someone shout Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, God is so good. I'm so glad you're here, people of God. So glad to have uh, our senior leaders here from our church branches here. And uh, listen, once again, share, share, share. All right. Share. And uh, listen, if you're new uh, to me and our ministry, uh, I invite you uh, do, uh, you know, follow us on YouTube. All right. Benlin Global. Uh, subscribe at our YouTube, Benlin Global. There's going to be a lot of incredible uh, uh, teachings and videos that we're going to start posting up uh, in the new year. My gosh, I'm excited. All right, well, let me go straight into the prophetic word of the month for January, all right? And once again, uh, if you're new to our ministry, uh, the Lord has given me and our ministry a mandate, okay? Not a woman date, all right, amen, somebody, but uh, he's given us a mission uh, to prophesy into every year, into every month, into every quarter. Listen, there is a prophetic word from heaven that God wants to release on the earth, okay? When we understand what God's doing in the spiritual realm, then we will be able to define things on the earth. Remember, God entrusted Adam to name the animals. Why did God trust Adam to prophetically name the fine animals into their nature, into the future? Why? Because he entrusts us, connected to him, to prophesy and to decree as it is in heaven on earth. Okay? So, uh, so every month the Lord has given me a mission uh, to prophesy into every single month to set the tone uh, for what's to come, what's expected, okay? So uh, God is good. Uh, and today I want to talk to you for about the prophetic word of the month of January, okay? Uh, I believe January is going to be a month of justice. So I'm going to say justice, all right? January is going to be a month of justice. Now I'm really excited uh, because, of course, we always go into Hebrew 
uh, the Hebraic calendar, and then I break it down uh, with uh, biblical history. I break it down with history, and I break it down uh, prophetically uh, with revelation. Amen. Rabaka, uh, Roboska. But uh, it's so interesting because January uh, in the original Latin, it actually means the God of the beginning and transition. Okay. January in the original word means beginning and transition. Okay. So, of course, we already know January is the first month of the Gregorian calendar of 2021. So, this is going to be a month of new beginnings and divine transition. So let me just pray and prophesy into that over you that January is going to be filled with new beginnings or right, new blessings or a new vision, new glory, new anointing. And there's going to be a fresh wind for your transition in this month in the name of Jesus. So January, new beginnings, new transitions. But of course, in the Hebraic calendar, we already know uh, that we're actually in the month of Tevet, okay? And I've already taught on this number of times. All right, we're in the uh, Hebraic month of Tevet. Some would say Tevet, T-E-V-E-T, -E -E okay? And of course, the root word uh, of Tevet is Tov. Some would say Tov, okay? Which is T-O-V. So we're actually in the month of Tov or Tevet. And Tov stands for the goodness of God. Tov in Hebrew is good. Some would say it's good. Who here knows that every six days of creation, God said it is good. But on the seventh day, come on somebody, this is 2021 now, which is seven times three, three times seven. There's going to be a triple anointing of very good. On the seventh day, God decreed and said it is very good. Come on somebody. So we're about to uh, uh, step into a year of triple goodness, okay? The triple goodness of God. And not only that, but January is a month of the very good of God, all right? If you're with me, someone say amen. But remember, I'm talking to you about Hebraic and biblical history, and then I'm going to uh, extract prophetic revelation on what you can expect that this is a month of January justice, okay? Someone say January justice, all right? So, um, of course, in this month of Tevet, this is the same month that Esther rose for such a time as this. This is the same month where Esther took the burdens. Come on. Have, do you have some burdens? Do you have some supplications? I know if you're connected to me in this ministry, all right, you got great desires. You have ambitions. There's a calling from God that God has given you. So there's all these things that you're praying into for the new year 2021, all right, about the elections, about uh, your finances, the stimulus check, your family's health, all right, but all these burdens, petitions, and supplications, Esther brought it before the king, and the king answered her request. And guess what? The decree was overturned. Some say overturned. My gosh, I feel the Holy Ghost. There was an overturning of every false decree, false presidential election projection. All right, there was an overturning of such things in the governmental realm. And all of a sudden, Esther was honored and Mordecai was lifted up, okay? Let the Esthers rise and let the Mordecai's uh, be honored. So this is a month where Esther actually came before the king and her petitions were heard. Are you ready for your petitions to be heard? January is the beginning month. It's the first month of 2021, but it is the first month where you're, where Esther rose up and her petitions were heard and Mordecai was honored. This is the month of that same grace. Come on, somebody. This is the month where your petitions are being brought before the king in the courtrooms of heaven, which is much higher and greater than the Supreme Court of the United States. It is being heard. It is being dealt with. It is being released. And that's why this is going to be a January of justice. Do you imagine the same month to that, January, in the same time, Esther brought the petition before the king, and the king answered with favor. I declare favor. Come on, somebody. I declare that God is releasing favor towards you. His face is turning towards you. And in this month of January, Tevet of Tov, of the very goodness of God, God is going to destroy and overcome all evil. You're going to see things overturned. Come on, somebody. Mandarabata. And the Holy Spirit is going to cause the Esthers to rise and Mordecai to be honored. Someone say amen. And I decree and declare that President Trump will be honored in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So January is a month of justice. Some say justice, okay? I believe, of course, even next week, January 6th. All right, I think they're projecting tens of millions of people to march 
into DC, okay? So it's going to be an incredible time. This we're in a hinge. We are in a transitionary month and and season. There's so much at stake in a hand. But uh, these are the three prophetic points that I have for you for this month of January. Are you all excited? All right, the three prophetic points that I have for you, what you can expect in this month of January, of course, is number one, justice. Someone say justice, okay? This is going to be a month of justice, all right? Uh, now, pretty much what it means to be just or justified, it means that there's righteousness. There's a right standing with God. It means that something is uprightness. Come on, is upright. Come on, somebody. Listen, how are you going to build a house if, if the pillars are not upright? How are you going to build this year, 2021? How are you going to continue in this year if there's if you're not upright? I'm telling you, 2020 has been a year of exposure. 2020 has been a year of revelation, exposure. A lot of things have been shaken and testing and falling to the side, falling off. But in this year, 2020, and in this month, January, God is raising up just warriors. He's raising up just sons. He's ra he's justifying you. I declare right now, God is about to justify you. He's about to honor you. He's about to lift you up. And he's about to release justice in the courtrooms of heaven. And he's about to release justice over your life, over your family. I'm telling you, every held up prayer, every held up breakthrough, every held up financial breakthrough, everything that's been held up is going to be released in this January of justice. If you receive it, someone say amen. I'm telling you right now, because you've humbled yourself, because you kept your heart pure, you kept your mouths clean, because you kept your hands clean, you could have taken soul's life, but because you touched not the anointed and did prophets no harm, the Lord himself will honor you, and he's about to raise up justice in this month of January. If you believe it, say amen. Okay, so in this month, he's raising up upright people, justice, justice in the courts, in America, in your life, in the body of Christ. It's going to be incredible. Remember, how you start 2021 will determine how you continue. So in this month of January, of course, I'm doing 21 days of consecration. Uh, most of our ministry, most people in our churches, uh, we're doing 21 days of consecration. Why? Because we are setting our faces like flint before the Lord, our faces between our knees and weeping and praying and pressing in in the whole month of January. We're giving it up to God and we're saying, Lord, January belongs to you. The first fruits of this year belongs to you. And we're going to press in for to break through for the rest of 2021. All right. So I challenge you right now, do 21 days, seven days, five days, three days of consecration unto the Lord this whole year and watch what God's going to do. All right, so I believe January is going to be a month of justice. All right, number two, a second prophetic point that you can expect to happen in your life in this month of January is Judah. Okay, so I'm going to say Judah. Now, this is so good because here, uh, follow me, people of God, here in Judges chapter 20, verse 18, and someone can write that down. Judges 20, 18. Mandarabo Sokoraba Rabande. Judges 20, 18. All right, the Bible says that Judah shall go first, okay? The Bible says that Judah shall go first. Now, let me tell you why the tribe of Judah is so important. Because God, in this month of January, is raising up the kingly anointing. It's time for the kingdom, not just the church. It's time for the kingdom, domain, rule, and power, and authority to be exercised, okay? So this month of January, it's going to be a month of justice of the judges, of judgment. Come on, somebody. There's going to be justice. There's going to be judgment against every false word, false prophet, of, against the fake news, the prophet liars of, of, of yeah. big tech and the news media industries, okay? So there's going to be justice and judgment, but there's also going to be Judah because Judah stands for the kingly anointing. Judah stands for the kings and queens dominating and gaining wealth. Come on, somebody. Judah in Hebrew also stands for praise. Someone say praise. Okay, that's why the Jews or the Jewish people, all right, they, they stand for the people of praise. Come on, somebody. So in this month of January, Judah goes first. Why? Because your praise breaks through the rest of the year. January is going to be a month of praise, of worship, of gladness, of thanksgiving. January is a month of praise. Come on, somebody. And I'm not talking about low praises. I'm talking about the high praises of God, according to the book of Psalms. All right, so January is a month of justice. 
And it is also a month of praise. Come on, somebody. As you praise God, the blessings come down. As your praises go up, the blessings begin to outpour. As you begin to praise and worship God, because Judah goes first. Why? Because praise and, and, and worship is your warfare. And as you praise, as you set that as your precedence, then you break through as a tip of the arrow. And boom, 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 the rest of 2021 is going to be filled with signs, wonders, and miracles. I wish somebody heard me today. In this month of January, it's going to be a month of Judah because Judah goes first. I'm telling you, your praise is going to break out in all of 2021. Doesn't matter what you're going through. Doesn't matter what you've experienced. In this month of January, your Judah is going to go first. Your praise. You're going to praise God like never before. You're going to dance. You're going to say, oh, hallelujah, yeah. You're going to worship. You're going to dance. You're going to hop, scrub. You're going to, you're going to rub, oh, saka. You're going to become all Pentecostal because praise is going to break out in your midst. I said a Stimulus check is coming to you. I said checks in the mail. I said favor. I said breakthrough, miracle, milagros in su vida. I'm telling you, bang, 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 bam. You're going to praise. Judah goes first. Someone say amen. So you better start dancing. I see you dancing in the spirit right now. Oh, you do. Oh, shot double. No one's looking at you. Don't worry. I see you dancing in the spirit because January is going to be a month of praise. Of Judah. Come on. We are the people of praise. We are the people of God. Even God himself said, let my people go so that they may worship me in the wilderness. Come on, somebody. So that they may worship me. They may be my people of worship in the wilderness. All right, come on. So in this month of January, expect justice. Expect judgment against every false accuser, the accuser of the brethren. God is judging your enemies in this month of January. And in this month of January, not only will it be a month of justice, someone say justice, but it's also going to be a month of Judah, where your your praise is going to make things right. I see God beginning to make things right in your life, in your health, in your finances, in your vision. Some of you feel clouded, some of you feel doomed and gloomed, but God is making things right. That's the justice of God, that every wrong thing in your life becomes right. I declare right now, the justice of God is locating you, and every wrong thing is becoming right in the name of Jesus, all right? So January, expect justice. Number two, expect Judah. Come on, somebody. Now, now this is so good. Remember, I already told you what the Hebrew month is, Tevet Tov, okay? Esther rose up. We saw the overturning, okay? The Jews were honored. Mordecai was honored. There was a great celebration in the city of Susa, all right? There was great celebration, great feasting. Are you ready to celebrate? Are you ready to feast? Come on, I see fireworks in the spirit right now. Boom, boom, boom. Victory. It's almost like the Declaration of Independence when we won the war against Great Britain in the United States. But the third prophetic word and point for this month of January, if you're receiving right now, some say amen. If you're receiving, give me some hearts and likes here. The third prophetic point for what you can experience is the Jehu anointing. My gosh, the Jehu anointing. Now, now, some of you may not know who King Jehu is, okay? But King Jehu was the king that took down Jezebel. So in this month of January, Jezebel is going to hell. We are going to see Jezebel thrown down. Come on, somebody. Let's go to the Bible. Let's go to the Word of God. My gosh, I wish somebody threw a shoe at this phone. All right. <laughs> Let's go over to 2 Kings chapter 9. 2 Kings 9.30, all right? Remember, whenever there's a Jezebel, there is a Jehu, okay? Whenever there's a Jezebel, there is a Jehu. And I believe that even President Trump is moving in the Jehu anointing. Why? Because Camilla Harris is a Jezebel. Uh, is a modern-day Jezebel form. And Joe Biden is a modern-day Ahab. He's a weak man. He's a... He's a Anyways, but... uh. But I believe that there's a Jehu anointing that's on the rise to overthrow and to throw down every Jezebel from a high lofty place, okay? Uh, Hillary Clinton was moving in a Jezebel anointing, murdering babies, killing the prophets. And I want to tell you right now that, that right now there's actually an attack against prophets and the prophetic. That's the Jezebel spirit. Many people are trying to accuse prophets. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, you missed it. Oh, you know, and so a lot of prophets are questioning themselves and backtracking from different words and stances. That's the Jezebel spirit trying to intimidate the prophetic people. 
But uh, I'm telling you, in this month of January, the Jehus will rise and Jezebel will be thrown down. In this month of January, you you watch people of God, and even next month, from today to even next week, January 6th, today to January 6th, watch what God's about to do. There's going to be a throwdown, there's going to be a showdown, and it's about to go down. So 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 30. I'm going to read the word of God here. Then Jehu went to Jezreel. When Jezebel heard about it, she put on eye makeup, arranged her hair, and looked out of a window. As Jehu entered the gate, she asked, Have you come in peace, you Zimri, you murderer of your master? And so Zimri uh, was somebody who, who was murdered. And uh, so she's making fun of Jehu in correlation or comparison to Zimri. So Jehu looks up at the window and calls out, who is on my side? Who? Two or three eunuchs looked down at him. So these are servants of Jezebel. As Jehu comes and looks up at the window and says, who is on my side? Who? Two, three servants of Jezebel looks down from the window. And Jehu says, throw her down. So the eunuchs, the servants of Jezebel, you better hear me now. The very servants of the Democratic Party. The very servants of Satan. The very demons. Listen, uh, I just saw uh, just a few days ago that they're trying to replace uh, Camilla Harris with a Hispanic man for a vice president projection election nominee. Ridiculous. So the very servants of Jezebel threw her down. And some of her blood splattered on the wall and the horses came and trampled her underfoot. My gosh. Jehu went in and ate and drank. Take care of that cursed woman, he said, and bury her. For she was a king's daughter. But when they went out to bury her, they found nothing except her skull, her feet and her hands. They went back and told Jehu who's... Uh, who said, this is the word of the Lord that he spoke through the servant Elijah the Tishbite. On the plot of the ground of Jezreel, dogs will devour Jezebel's flesh. Jezebel's body will be like dung on the ground in the plot at Jezreel, so that no one will be able to say this is Jezebel. Now this is an intense word. Judgment is coming to Jezebel. Judgment is coming to all of the false accusers and the accuser of the brethren and the false accusations. In this month of January, Jehu will rise to finally take out the Jezebelic spirit. What is, what is the spirit of Jezebel? The spirit of Jezebel is the spirit of seduction. The Je Jezebel spirit is the spirit of witchcraft. It's a spirit of manipulation. It is a spirit of idolatry, okay? It's, uh, the Jezebel spirit uh, is a spirit that uh, caused the people of God to worship idols and to worship Baal, to sacrifice their own kids. It's a spirit of abortion. It's a spirit of murder. It's a spirit of conspiracy. It's a spirit of dark demons, of false doctrines. So in this month of January, the Jehu anointing is going to arise to throw down the Jezebels that that have taken false positions, that have wickedly schemed and conspired to take positions in office, in churches, in government, in business. I'm telling you, it's a throwdown. I said Jezebel is about to get thrown down. And in the words of Johnny Enlow, in the words of Jesus in the Bible, I saw Satan fall down like lightning. In this month of January, there will be justice. There will be judgment against Jezebel. There will be justice for the people of God. The Esthers will rise. The Mordecais will be honored. We're also going to see praise break out. There's going to be celebration. There's going to be mass love feasts. People are going to celebrate. Come on. Come on. Let us worship. Gather in the streets. Worship God. Don't stop gathering. Don't be afraid of a little COVID-19 2021. Listen, you need to be afraid of God. And in this month of January, there's going to be a Jehu anointing. As Judah breaks out, praise makes you powerful. Praise makes you bold and as Judah breaks out and goes first you're going to take new territories take new grounds you're going to break through the whole new year of 2021 and not only that 
But you're going to see the Jehu's rise and the Jezebel's thrown down. I said prophecies are going to be fulfilled this month. In this month of January, you're about to see that Jezreel prophecy fulfilled. You're about to see Jezebel thrown down in the name of Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. I love this. I love this because in this month of January, in this month of January, it's the beginning and it's a transition month, okay? Listen, people of God, I want to pray for you right now as we bring this to a close. I'm so excited for this month of January. Like I said, next week, I'm going to be at Sid Roth Studio in, in, in uh, North Carolina. It's my first time going to the Linus, I and Line. And, uh, and then uh, I'm going to be back in the Carolinas the week right after that. And it's just going to be an incredible month, incredible year. But I want to pray with you right now because... January is your month, okay? I don't care what you went through. I don't care what you experienced in 2020. All right, you might say, Pastor Ben, 2020 was a hard year. I don't get a, I didn't get a stimulus check, okay? I, I didn't listen. 2021 is going to be a triple anointing year. All right, triple anointing. As I was in prayer last night, uh, the Lord began to remind me about the triple anointing, and uh, I'm going to be releasing a whole different word about the triple anointing. For 2021 but january how you start is going to determine the rest of the year start off with praise start off with doing things right that's justice that's being just in the eyes of god do things rightly do things justly do things with mercy start off in january with justice with the justice of god and begin to watch Judah praise break out. And as praise breaks out, you gain territories. And not only that, but in this month of January, the Jehus will rise. The kingdom <clears throat> glory anointing will rise. The kings and queens will arise. Take dominion. Take back territories that we've lost. And as the Jehus rise, the Jezebels will finally be done with, will be thrown down. Which means no more Baal worship, no more child sacrifice, no more idolatry, no more witchcraft, no more dualism, okay? No, no more necromancy, no more, uh, you know, uh, just false doctrines of demons, no more Jezebel, all right? So in this month, watch the Jehus arise. We're going to see Jehu arise and every false devil principality, false witch spirit, Every wolf in sheep's clothing is going to be thrown down from their place of government. It's going to be thrown down from their place in your life. I want to pray for you people of God. This is Pastor Ben here. I'm so excited for January, all right? I want you, right now, I want you to comment below what spoke to you the most, okay? Uh, what encouraged you? What ministered to you? Does this resound with your spirit? If it doesn't, then peace out, haters. Uh, but, uh, you know, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube, Bell and Global. And I want you to comment below if you enjoyed this prophetic word of the month of January. And I, I want to tell you now, I'm not going to stop prophesying the word of the Lord. I am not going to stop preaching. I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to stop prophesying. I am not going to stop moving in the gifts of the Spirit, in the Holy Spirit. My God and my friend, I'm not. Amen. This is just the beginning, people of God. 2021 is your year and January is your month. Of justice, let the Jehus arise and let Judah go first. Let me pray for you now, Lord. I thank you for my friends watching, new, uh, new faithful God. I pray for every single person watching now and on the replay. I ask you that January will be smothered in the goodness of God. That it will be a month of very good. It will be a month of the Tov anointing. It will be a month where Esther and Mordecai is honored. Every false decree, false word is overturned, is debunked. God, I pray in this month of January. That there would be a new beginning. I thank you, God, that you are throwing Jezebel down and the Jehus are rising, that justice is coming forth. I thank you, God, that it shall come swiftly. Rabata, Monderebosakande. I thank you in this month of January that there will be judgment against every evil, sinful, false thing, and you are raising up the righteous sons of God. I thank you, Father, that January is your month. And in this month of January, we're about to see praise break. God. We're about to see worship. We're about to see thanksgiving and honor to your name. And we shall glorify you again and again and again. And once again, oh God, we shall glorify your name. And we thank you in advance for the miracles and the great things you're going to do in this month of January. I bless you right now. I'm telling you, 
January is your month. January is your month of justice. January is your month of favor. Roboto, I declare in the name of Jesus that this month, January, will be your breakout and your breakthrough month. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. Expect things to change. The tide is shifting and God is bringing your name to remembrance and he's about to honor you in the face of all. God bless you people. I got this Pastor Ben Lim here. I hope you enjoyed this prophetic word of the month. I'm so excited for January. So excited for uh, 2021. And uh, thanks for following us, for being friends and partners of our ministry. We love you. We appreciate you. And uh, I also just want to say, listen, if you want to go deeper in the Lord and want to uh, be a part of our mentorship group, okay? I know many of you right now, you have New Year resolutions. Listen, throw it out the window if you don't have accountability, okay? Throw, throw out your New Year resolutions out of the window if you don't have accountability or you're not walking with a group that's going after the same thing, okay? So we do have our group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip, okay? It's a 7M Glory Equip. So I invite you, uh, be a part of our group mentorship, okay? Our 7M Glory Equip. It's incredible. God's doing some incredible things in our group mentorship there. Real mentorship, real discipleship. The real thing, okay? We don't want no fake, pre-recorded type of stuff. We want the real thing, all right? So listen, people got, uh, uh, I don't know uh, why no one's uh, t putting it in right now, but let me just put it in right here. Jabarabatandaraboto. So listen, if you want to register, all right? Uh, if you want to be part of it, join right there. There you go, boom, all right? People got, I love you, bless you. Happy New Year, all right? Be safe. Uh, be blessed, and January is going to be an incredible month, and I'm so excited. Thank you for, for following us all throughout 2020, being with us. You know, God God will prevail, all right? And I know that Trump will triumph, all right? And the people of God will praise him again and again and again, all right? So uh, my friends here, uh, pastors, just bless them and say goodbye to our friends. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Lord bless you. Shalom to you. I'll see you. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. Angry face, angry face.